So I'm in the process of uh, taking the side out and uh, after I was done what, while removing this one, I had a little uh, incident. Uh, so on the other side, what I'll try to do is uh, use a little wedge to protect that because that's a smaller piece, like those ones are bigger, but that one's a bit smaller. And I guess that's why he ended up cracking. So what I'll do is just uh, use some glue, re-glue it in place, and uh, hopefully that that uh, fix the problem. And now it's time to use that scrap line that I put when everything was assembled to make sure that everything will be lining up. So I I do have here on the side. So I want to bring that over so I can actually see it from the side. So. I'm just gonna put my knife in first, go again, my knife, then just put a little, just a little bit here. And then on this back section, it's at the top right here. So what I'll do is line up again, put my knife in the line, my square against it, then I'm going to go right at the bottom, scrap a little line, and that way I can line up both my lines. So now, right here, they're perfectly in the same position as they were before, and all I, all I have to do is put my distance, clap it down, scribe it, and then cut my tint. All the dovetails are now cut on the, the lid part. Um, so I'm, I'm doing all the dry fit for each side individually. So that's the first side I'm trying. I had to clean a bit of the edges, but all in all, all, in all it, it went in pretty nicely. Uh, the, the next step is to take this one out and flip it over, try the other side in, and then I'll do the same with the front and the back. And then when that's done, I'll put all the parts in like a, a full dry fit of all the parts I have right now. The dry fit is all done and uh, the side top and front and back went in quite nicely actually. I didn't have any breaks so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I already made my first layout here. I don't know if you can see it but there's a line that goes across here. That's going to be where I'm going to do my cutout for the lid because the top section will be open. Um, uh, so um, this is going to be cut later when uh, when the box is all glued up together. Uh, before that, I need to do my layout inside because I'm gonna have a bunch of components as like like the drawers and the base uh, that's going to be made out of a three quarter plywood with a trim of black walnut at the front. So I'm going to have to start doing the layout for that. And then I'm going to have a plywood inside here, probably a half an inch plywood. Um, that's going to create the, the, the bottom of my uh, top section. And then another one here that's going to separate the bottom drawers and the top drawers. Okay, so we have the, the back with the sides here. And what I'm doing in tra transposing the lines that I had uh, when it was all assembled and I make sure that everything lines up together on both sides here and there and then I've got the top one here as well that's going to go on the side on both sides uh, that's for uh, the to cut the recess for the plywood uh, I also made sure it was on the headpiece right here and I'm going to use a half inch up cut down cut spiral bit to do that on my router so uh, my layout is all done for those ones i'm going to get set up with the router and uh, cut those ones Okay, I've done all the grooves inside the back section and then uh, I also did the ones on the sides that's gonna go 
onto here. Now, I also made sure that after they were done, uh, that they were lining up. And one of them was uh, about a 16 off, so I just ran another pass in that one. So I've got the two sides here. Then the next step would be to add the plywood. Now, I, got, I made myself a, a line here that I can actually match up in the center. I made myself the center line here as well. And then those extra pieces here will need to have grooves as well in, in that plywood because the other one's going to go in here and it's going to be sandwiched into between the both of them. So I have to mark where my grooves are going to be into that plywood here. So I'm going to grab my pencil and just mark it and make sure you don't know your, your piece here doesn't move from the line. So I'm going to mark this one. Then I'm going to take that one off and then put the other one in. Okay, so all the grooves are done. What I have to do now is just do a dry fit of all the parts. And uh, that's going to help me take some measurements and see how everything is going. So I got all those parts here that slide in one another. I also pre-made the strips, the capping strips that I'm going to have to tongue and groove later. And I've got the material here for the, those ones as well. Um, uh, the top section slides right here and as you can notice it's a bit higher than the other one that's because I've got a groove in this one as well just like that so I'm gonna secure it with a clamp So those strips I was talking about are going to go right here. So a quarter inch lower because my tummy group will be a quarter inch. Um, that's going to give me just a bit of a recess. What I, I didn't want to have like a, a full flush frontal. I, I want to have like a, a little, like a quarter inch recess to have my knobs to be flush with the headpiece. So that, that's looking pretty good. Uh, next step is to make the groove for the bottom plywood. So the bottom plywood is not half inch. It's, I, I decided to go three quarter and then I've got a three quarter inch cap piece as well that's going to be tongue and groove. So I still have to put my groove at the bottom here. Uh, that's going to be my next step. So I'm going to do the layout for that, <coughs> for that one. Do all my sides as well and then uh, uh, I'll be able to do the layout for uh, my tracks for the drawers. The three quarter inch plywood grooves are all done. So I did the four sides, tongue and groove at the front, and then uh, a lip, half inch lip that's gonna uh, slide in that uh, recess here. So this one goes right in here. Uh, my uh, front strip, that's tongue and groove, slides right in this way. Uh, this one will go after, so I can have like a precise measurement of the inside, so after the glue up and then I'll, I'll be able to do that in without any gaps. Uh, my next step is to basically do the same as I did with the three quarter inch, but with the half inch. So I'm gonna have uh, a front strip for those small pieces, and then uh, a front strip for the middle section. So all the parts are fitted, uh, and I'm pretty pleased on how how they all get together. Um, so we've got the top here and the most work I had to do was on those uh, two small two small uh, separators. So I'll just show you what I mean. Um, because they they get enclosed in between those two here and the top section here, I had to do like a, a notch for this side and another one little different one for the top one 
also they get the tongue and groove so uh, those ones those ones took the longest to, to make uh, so those two are done and then also this tongue and groove for that one so basically all my dry fit is done um, the next step now is to line up the drawers so uh, on the side of those ones uh, they go this way horizontal horizontally uh, I'm gonna have tracks for the inside drawers uh, so two tracks and then on the other side I'm gonna have three tracks for uh, the two inch drawers so I'm gonna do a quarter inch recess into those and then I'm going to put some hardwood strips in it and glue them up. And once that's done, and uh, there's uh, some on the sides as well, because the sides are going to need the exact same one. Because they need, they need to match up with, with those ones, like that. Uh, so I'm going to have to replicate the same here. Once, once those are done, I can glue the whole assembly together. So I've got both uh, cent center dividers clamped uh, with a straight edge uh, back to back so uh, that that helps me creating uh, both grooves at the exact same spot from one side to the other. So um, I'm, I'm making a first pass, second pass and, and so on to uh, minimize the, the burn on the dip. So I've got all my grooves laid out on both sides and then my panel section and now it's time to insert the little uh, maple strips that I just uh, milled. Uh, they're a quarter inch thick and they're just going to sit in that groove just like that and then those grooves as well like that. Uh, before I get the glue in there and, and get those strips glued up though I want to make sure I remove all my pencil marks. I've got a lot of pencil mark for layout and uh, that's going to be extremely hard to remove uh, after it's all glued up. So uh, I'm just going to take all of those out, do a light sanding and then uh, I'll be able to put all my tracks in after that. 